at that beautiful sunrise. One of the many, many reasons I am out here on this river. Look at the colors. Hey, you beautiful people. Today, I'm going to show you one thing that is very famous on my boats. I can't keep enough of it. It is called my pineapple barbecue sauce. So, stay tuned. It's coming right up. Okay, we're back. Uh, what you need, though, is you need a blender. And here's the ingredients. You get one can a pineapple crush as you notice it says the 20 ounce you need the Liam Perry's Worcestershire sauce say that five times fast and then you need ketchup honey ginger soy sauce hold on my secrets in there molasses and if you want to add a little kick to it get that Louisiana hot sauce so, oh, if you pause, I'm going to pause a moment and set this up to where you can watch me add the ingredients. Okay, we're back. You start off, you put your pineapple in it uh, first. Just dump the whole thing in. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm going to be saying a little bit of this, a little bit of that, dash of this, dash of that, so forth. I will try to figure out how much I'm putting in. Put a few swings of this in the Worcestershire sauce. Again, say that five times fast. About that much. You get some ketchup. Don't use that squeeze. You'll be squeezing it forever. Open that sucker up. I would say this is probably about mm, a cup, maybe a little bit more, yeah, a little more. Yeah, gotta have the honey. I prefer raw honey, but unfortunately, this is Toba style. I do enough to cover it. Uh, I would say that's probably about half cup. Now the ginger, we're gonna go by shakes. One, two, three, four, five. Soy sauce. Oh boy, I think I need to go over to the cabinet and get some more. And no, uh, I would say about a quarter cup. No, a little bit more, maybe a half cup. Yep, that's about right. Again, a lot of my secrets have to do with this. But don't tell anybody. I'd say about a tablespoonful. Now, for this, how spicy do you want it? Let's see. I got only one person on this boat that don't like a lot of spice. Everybody else does. So, we're going to do about six shakes on this. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Now cover your ears. You gotta blend this really well. Ready? Cover your ears. <laughs> That's the consistency of the color it should be. No, so, but, but the best thing to do is the taste. Be right back. Got to get a spoon. I'll just let you view this. That's what the consistency looks like. It's kind of thick, but it tastes so good. So here we go. Here we go. Perfect. You can taste each one of the items in it, especially that Louisiana hot sauce. It's not overpowering it at all. This goes great. Hmm. Pineapple. This goes great. Uh, blooper. <laughs> this goes great on uh, pork, chicken, and fish. I've never seen anybody try it on um, beef, but especially for barbecues or like braised ribs, baked fish, fry, even fried fish. So, because of that little bit of heat, it's almost like a pineapple cocktail sauce, you could call it, too. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I don't have a printable recipe on this due to the fact because I do this all just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a dash of this, and a dash of that. Oh, hell, even sometimes, okay, that's a cup. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. But stay tuned. I have something special for all of you. Hey everyone, this is Saucy, the traveling towboat chef. Uh, a lot of people have asked me in reference to groceries and supplies, how do we get them on board? Well, this video here, I'm going to show you one of the places that we uh, could get uh, our groceries and our supplies. And I'll show you, I'll explain it all as I uh, pan this around and show you. Alright, be right back. Name of this boat store is called the Hennepin Boat Store, customers only. Now, this right here is uh, where we can pull up to the dock and they bring down supplies, bring down the grocery stores, or we can pick them up ourselves. Also too, they, they do crew changes and things like this, and this is one of the crew change boats or supplies, uh, the small supplies that they can bring out. This is also where we dump our trash. Now over here, now this is a tugboat. Get this straight y'all, this is going to be a tugboat. This is also one of their tugboat stores. They'll bring out our groceries and stuff. And if Anybody on the boat wants to buy any extra supplies like t-shirts, candy, um, soap, any, anything personal. They also got some jewelry in there. Uh, they got multiple little things in, in that little spot there. But this is a tugboat. That's a, and this is where they would bring our supplies from. Hold on, I'm trying to step over some wires here. But that's their little wheelhouse up at the top there. And as you can see, it is a small one, but it does the job. Their office is probably a few blocks from here. They take all the orders over the phone. They go out and do all the shopping. And then they bring it down here. We're getting our uh, groceries 
from a different place. I already placed my grocery order this morning. So I will try and get a video of that when it comes in. But anyways, hope this answers some of y'all's questions. There's some more docks over here. But this is one of them. It looks like a small operation, but believe it or not, it's a big operation. Thank you for watching.